the fire and bake your bread. You used to bring your bread to the baker. And this technique, the technique of mixing bread on those days, there was no technique. It was mixing the best you could and then let it prove the best you could and take it to the baker to bake it. But we started making bread on big scale when bakery opened. Mixing the dough by hand became a bit harder. 120 kilo of dough by hand, you couldn't do it by, like they used to do, standing on it with your feet or bashing it to death. So, in 1765, there's a guy called Parmentier in France who discovered that uh, the potato were better for humans than for pigs. Parmentier potatoes. And then he also discovered that by adding more air to your dough and more flour to your, um, more air and water, sorry, to your dough, the bread was lighter. You fed more people and also it was more digestible. They knew that then. So everything was made then to create a technique which allow you to get the dough much lighter by not compromising adding flour to it or oil. There was no oil in those days to do that. So, okay. Now we've got this in here. What's your first thing you think when you see that? Is it a bit sticky? Yeah. Yeah? You've done it before? This? Okay, crack on with it then. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> if you've done it before, you're an expert. Okay, let's go. Let's see what you can do. Okay. Careful in the front row. <laughs> oh, she read oh, my book. It's too easy. Well done. Round of applause. Now, you can always see when people read my book and do the quarter turn to start with. Okay? Stop. 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 <laughs> then you can move away from the door. <laughs> but you've, you've got it right. So this technique there was, imagine a big wooden trough. Okay? You had to mix 120 kilo by hand. So the first part was mixing your ingredients together. That was for the phrasage. Okay. The next part was called découpage, getting a big lumps of, of the dough. And then the next part was called passage en tête. They used to mix the dough on a big wooden trough. Leave the dough and slap it on the other side of the mixer. And then after it was étirage, go there and lifting the dough up over the body. And soufflage, blowing the dough, adding air to it. And that's how the dough will become much lighter. And this technique is based on that. So it's nothing new. It's called the French fold. But it's, it's, um, what I've done is read that in this technique for home baking. So you do this. Leave your hand in there. Don't do the quarter turn to start with. And as you do this, you can put a lot more water in your dough and work your dough. Work with it. You can feel it change in your hand and get stronger and stronger. Now there's two things in the dough, the top and bottom. Don't mix it up. Okay, sounds easy. So use your scraper. When you scrape, don't do this. Leave this on the top. Don't bring the sticky to the top. So you Why is that? Dough. Because your top will control your dough. This will, the, the tension on it, when you mold it, when you bake your bread, like you, like you see there, the top is always the same. Okay. If you keep mixing it, it will stick. So by controlling your dough this way, you can see the doughs forming, getting stronger and stronger. And how long would you do that for? Me, five minutes. Yeah. Me, two hours. <laughs> it's all about practice. You don't expect to make bread overnight just that. You, the more you practice, the better you are. But within five, six minutes, you can do it. Okay? Already the dough is forming, it's nice and strong. You can see the air inside. So you keep doing this for a little bit. And you see, the air pocket inside already is forming. Okay? So carry on a bit more, but don't do the quarter turn straight away. Just keep your hand in there. Yeah? Very good. I'm going to try to do something in the center there. Okay, so to make a fugace, when the dough is rested, I got my dough nice and light in here. Similar. That's a nice looking peel. Brand new. And I cut a big triangle of dough. Now the fugas, if you've seen them, you see them everywhere, they're very fashionable. But the fugas in old days, the word fugas, focaccia and foyer, the two letters F or mean fire in Latin. So it used to be a tool. This used to be in a big wood fire oven. You used to slide them in there and I quick they were baking, they could judge how hot the oven was. Okay? And they was called, in French, we used to call them soufflan, under the flame. And as you see, it's very easy bread to make. So open it up. Just that. And then hold it on the top. <coughs> and then we're going to make some little flames. Just there. And on the pin, we're going to slide it on the very hot tray. So, the oven behind me, you can see there, 
there's some tray upside down. It's up 275. Really, really hot. Okay? So, in there. Done. And then that would take about 12 minutes in the oven. Okay? A nice big crust. How are you doing in here? Not bad, not bad. How would you get it in the oven if you hadn't got a peel? Would you use a, to slide it from a chopping board or golf? <laughs> no, no, no. You can use a, Ten, a tennis racket. flat baking tray. Okay. A flat baking tray, you should be fine. You, a bit of semolina on top and you'll be fine. So okay. you can do that. Let's have a look at the door now. You did a good job there. So the door is becoming really strong. That's basically done now. Now, if the door sticks stick to your hand, if you're struggling, I'll show you a trick. You all mock the French with the French shrug, don't you? You all know it, the French shrug, don't you? Huh. You can't help yourself, but you do it. If you do it with the dough, it works perfect, actually. If you do this, voila. <laughs> huh. The dough will come off your hand all the time, okay? You work a treat. Look at this. So the dough now is done. Can you see how light it is? The beautiful. So only at that stage now. So if I recap the, the, the thing, we mix the dough, that was the phrasage, the, pass, the découpage, lifting the dough up, the passage en tête, stretching the dough, étirage, soufflage, blowing the dough, adding air to it. Mixed, lift, stretch, air. Yeah. One foot forward, one back, and ha <laughs> Don't forget this, okay? If you forget that, it's bad. Okay? And the dough is done. So now, we just put the dough to rest. A bit of um, flour, a little bit of strength by folding it, and now you got the light support and elastic dough. Okay, but my recipe is the same from the beginning. I wouldn't add oil, you wouldn't add oil in the mixer or flour to the mixer, so don't do it by hand, don't compromise. Okay, and then if I put it in there, you can take it around to people, they can have a little feel. If you can see, can you see the camera? Air yeah, pocket there, look at this, it's alive already. Okay, if you take this one over there to everybody, they can have a little feel. Yeah? Don't worry, it's good. Thank you very much. Round of applause for Yoko, everybody. Just let everybody have a prod on the front rows. And with a big smile as well. Feel proud. <laughs> you give her a job. I know, yeah. It's a big recruitment drive for you, isn't it? It's very rare. So you can do it straight away. Usually you take longer, but that's, that's pretty good there. That was my <laughs> trick. Leave it there. <laughs> Never wear black in a bakery. <laughs>